In 2002, when I got out of school, I was raising the cattle and grass-fed before grass-fed was the trendy thing to do. And six years ago, we got some more pigs and we'd had friends come over to our house and had food that we'd made from our animals and they thought it was great. So whenever you lost your job, so let's do it. Let's let's start selling the meat to, to more than just our family and friends. Give people the opportunity to know where their food came from and and to have good quality meat. We wanted to focus on the red barn, being said it was built here in 1898 by John's great grandpa. It's a simple logo, but it looks exactly like our, our barn, but a, a modern spin to it, and it's on all of our packaging. Social media has really been the sole engine behind our, our business, so we've been able to have our own hashtag of how do you red barn and we encourage families to snap a photo of the meal that they've made that night and then it's been able to generate conversation to get people to think outside of their normal routine of going to the grocery store and picking up their meat to come outside of, of town and, and do that um, so it's it's getting it's getting outside of that routine and, and what people are used to doing. It takes a long time to recoup your investment in agriculture. Three years to pay for the cow. Sometimes it takes a lifetime to pay for the land. And in, in our case, we wouldn't have been able to do what we're doing today without farm credit and having cash flow and being able to grow. To know that that there's somebody that we can turn to if if and when that you know we need the support and knowing that we can kind of put our ourselves and our business out there and take a risk. Red Barn Farm Meats is one of the many farm credit members selling products directly to consumers. To find more local products grown by members, visit farmcreditil.com slash farmfresh.